नमस्कार मित्रों रिसेंटली आई गोट माई हैंड्स ऑन द ओल न्यू खदास माइंड टू ए आई मेकर किट अ पावरफुल मिनी पी सी पैक विद इम्प्रेसिव स्पेक्स लेट्स क्विकली अनबॉक्स इट एंड डाइव इन टू इट्स फीचर्स This mini PC is not just compact but also modular allowing multiple expansion modules via the MindLink port at the bottom for example you can connect the Mind graphics module which comes with RTX 4060 Ti GPU to transform this mini PC into a next level gaming setup the Mind 2 AI maker kit is powered by an Intel Core Ultra 7 258V CPU featuring 8 cores 8 threads built on a 3 nanometer process with a boost clock of 4.8 GHz it integrates an Intel Arc 140V GPU with 1024 shaders a 1.95 GHz boost clock and up to 16 GB memory making it efficient for graphics AI tasks and casual gaming Combining the CPU, GPU and NPU, the system delivers a total computing power of 115 trillions of operation per second. It comes with 32 GB of non-upgradable LPDDR5X RAM, clocked at 8533 MHz and a pre-installed 1 TB SSD in its M.2 slot. Talking about wireless connectivity, it features Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3. The aluminum alloy build makes it premium yet lightweight at 435 g with a 2 cm thickness. Here's its size comparison with an iPhone. On front, there's a power button with an LED indicator, while the back houses two USB 4.0 Type-C ports, a full-size HDMI 2.1 port, and two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports. Both sides have air vents for cooling. After setting it up with a 27-inch WQHD gaming monitor, I started testing it with some basic tasks. Browsing was smooth and lag-free, and when playing 4K videos, the performance was impressive. I streamed an entire 5-minute 4K video, and there was just one frame drop, which is negligible. But a mini PC is not just for browsing, so I decided to push it further by testing video editing and gaming. I have been using this PC for over a month now, and I even edited my previous video entirely on this system using Adobe Premiere Pro. Even with some 4K clips, the editing experience was buttery smooth, and surprisingly, it felt better than my Acer Nitro 5, which runs on an Intel i5 10th gen processor. Not just that, the video you are watching right now has also been edited on this PC. When it comes to gaming, I first tried Fortnite, and the performance was quite solid. I was getting an average of 80 FPS and at times it even hit 120 FPS. Next I tested GTA 5 at full HD resolution on low settings and the FPS range between 65 to 75 which is pretty decent for a system of this size. Moving on the benchmarks I ran Geekbench 6 where it is scored 2751 in single core and 11038 in multi core which is quite impressive. For reference an Intel Core i7 13700 scores around the same range one of the unique features of this mini pc is its built in 5.55 watt hour battery which acts as a backup power source if there is a power cut it instantly switches to hibernate mode and stays on standby for up to 25 hours this is perfect for the scenarios like moving between home and office without losing any progress But what if you want to use it while traveling or in a place without a monitor or power source? That's where I decided to build a portable display for it. After some research, I selected the DF Robot 7-inch HDMI touchscreen, which comes with an HDMI adapter. I began by measuring dimension of Khadas Mind 2 AI Maker Kit and then open Fusion 360 to create its 3D model as no official model was available. To ensure accuracy, I used reference images for all sides. Once I had all necessary 3D components, I started designing the Khadas Mind portable display. After finalizing the design, this is how it looks. Now to bring these parts to life, I will be using GLC PCB's 3D printing service. I can easily print these parts with my 3D printer, but for those who don't have a 3D printer and want to prototype a project, then GLC PCB is all-in-one solution for you. GLC PCB is a well-known manufacturer of printed circuit boards offering multi-layer PCBs, flex PCBs, PCB assembly services and SMT stencils. 
Besides PCBs, they also provide 3D printing and CNC machining services. They offer 3D printing services with different technologies, materials and surface finishes. Even they also provide metal 3D printing services. To order your 3D printed parts, visit jlc3dp.com, upload your CAD file, choose your settings and place the order. Thanks to their fast shipping option, I received the order within a week. The print quality is amazing, the layers are smooth and the material feels strong and rigid. Now let's start the assembly process. Initially, I only connected the power wires to the USB, but I quickly realized that the touch screen was not working. After some debugging, I found that the display had additional data lines. Once I connected those, the touch screen started working perfectly. Alright guys, the Khadas Mind Portable display is ready. Now let's set it up with the Mind 2 AI Maker Kit and see it in action. With the portable display attached, the Khadas Mind 2 AI Maker Kit is now a fully portable mini PC. You can power it using the included adapter or even a 100W power bank. And since it is a touch screen, it also functions as a Windows tablet. I tested it by browsing the web and streaming videos and the experience was smooth with no lag. I even tried gaming and just like before, the games ran well. So talking about my opinion on this PC, I absolutely love it and highly recommend it. If you are interested, check out the link in the description. That said, some graphics heavy tasks still perform better on my laptop. That's why I'm really curious about the Mind Graphics expansion module for this mini PC. If you want to see a detailed review of Mind Graphics, let me know in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more awesome content. Also drop your thoughts on this PC in the comments. I would love to hear what you think. That's it for today guys. I'll see you in the next one.